Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, yes. So today's question, are watts the same for solid state and tube amplifiers? I wasn't really listening. I thought it was a good prop. Okay. This comes from Carlos in Peabody, Massachusetts. God, what was the guy? Wasn't there a guy named Peabody with thick glasses and he had a little dog? Professor Peabody, was it? I don't remember. It's a cartoon character that I remember. A guy named Peabody and his little dog. Um, hey, Paul, I have a 40-watt tube amplifier and also a 100-watt transistor amplifier. My question is, if one watt is 2.83 volts squared divided by 8 ohms, um, why do some speaker manufacturers require that power doubles on transistors and not on tubes? Say 100 watts with tubes and 200 watts if you use transistors. Doesn't 2.83 volts square at 8 ohms, isn't it the same for both amplifiers, tube and transistors? Well, if you want a short answer, yep. Watts is watts. It don't, it, don't, it don't matter how them watts are made. Nope, don't matter at all. So, no. So, if, if, if that's all you're looking for, that's it. there's your answer. No, it, that, that's exactly the same. So, watts is a, is a measure of power. And essentially, amps times volts gives you watts. So, if you're putting 2.83 volts out of a power amplifier into a specific load, that load being the impedance of a, a speaker could be a, uh, the impedance of a resistor, um, but into a specific load, uh, that figure 2.83 volts, I, I, I think that sounds right, um, will we'll, we'll produce a watt and double that will produce two watts, et cetera, et cetera. And it's all the same. It doesn't matter how it's generated. Uh, I mean, you can generate watts with a car. Um, it, uh, one horsepower is 750 watts, I think. So watts from James Watt of steam engine fame, if, uh, for you history buffs, James Watt invented the, the, or made practical the steam engine. And so he got, he got something named after him. But yeah, so watts are watts, it, it doesn't matter. But I think the deeper part of the question that you're trying to ask here is why is it that solid state amplifiers typically double their wattage as the impedance drops down and tube amplifiers don't? Well, while that's not universally true, because there are certainly tube amps that do that, it really is a function of current. So solid state amplifiers have an easier time having big power supplies behind them so that they can double their watts. Now, don't get me wrong, a tube power amplifier can have just as big of a power supply as a solid state amplifier, but most tube power amplifiers have something else behind them that obviates kind of the need for that, and that is an output transformer. So most tube power amplifiers, with few exceptions, have output transformers. Now these transformers are just coils of wire and if you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. There's a drummer in the background. Um, Gus is recording a band over here at Octave Records and uh, I'm, I'm doing videos here on Saturday <laughs> and I can hear the drummer. Oh, I don't know if you can or not. Um, it's, it's really funny because when you go into the studio, you hear the whole thing. When you're down here, they put the drums out in the warehouse. So you only hear the drums and it's, drums alone just keeping time with a guy playing guitar or singing is not very interesting. Anyway, where were we? Uh, Watts, oh, oh yeah. So if you have an output transformer, what you have to do is match it. So you'll, you'll notice on an output transformer, you'll have an eight ohm tap, a four ohm tap, I, never seen a 2 ohm tap, but let's just say a 16 ohm tap maybe. So you've got these taps and those are just different windings on the transformer. And so you kind of have to match the taps up to the speaker. So if you have an 8 ohm speaker, you hook it up to the 8 ohm tap, 4 ohm speaker to the 4 ohm tap. Now the reason you do that is to get the ratios of output power from the tube 
accurate to what's needed at the speaker. And that's one of the reasons why it doesn't double its power um, because uh, of this interface that kind of stops you from doing that as a simple explanation. Solid state devices are direct coupled. They don't have output transformers. A couple of goofy ones do, but in general, they don't have that. So uh, in that case, you need to be agnostic as to what you're connecting. So I've got a power amp here. It's a solid state amplifier. I'm going to hook up my 8 ohm speaker. Great. Hook it up. No problem. Let's play. And now I'm going to hook up my 4 ohm speaker. Well, I expect my 4 ohm speaker, if it's the identical sensitivity to my 8 ohm speaker, that I, when I play 1 watt or 2 watts, I'm going to get the same loudness out. Well, that only happens if I can double the watts of 8 into 4 because I don't have a matching transformer to make up for all of that. So that's, that's basically the reason why. But watts, watts are watts. Thanks, James Watt. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow.